Ryan and Jeff starts now. We're just a little show out of Rhinelander and Dr. Phil. Judge Judy got nothing on us. Today, we'll be welcoming a formerly homeless person and ask her how she turned her life around. Then I'll talk to a Northwoods driving instructor and learn about winter driving and why right now is her busiest time ever. We'll get to all that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. The outdoors were so pleasant this weekend, and it's hard to think about winter just around the corner, but some Rhinelander folks are already preparing for a festive holiday season. Lights of the Northwoods wows people every winter at Hodag Park. This weekend, volunteers were busy setting up the light display, which has over more, more than over a quarter million lights. This year's Lights of the Northwoods will premiere on December 4th. Jeff, don't look at me like that. An improbable run brought Leona Wabino girls volleyball to the brink of a state championship. This weekend, the Rebels fell in the finals to McDonald Catholic, but still captured the silver ball for state runner-up. But to even get there, Leona Wabino upset a better seed in three straight matches. Wow. Middle hitter Elizabeth Krause was named Northern Lakes Conference Co-Player of the Year. Her sister Grace was named First Team All-Conference. Outside hitter Allison Albrecht made it to the second team. Congrats, Rebels. The Milwaukee Bucks got some presidential treatment today in our nation's capital. In case you forgot, the Bucks beat the Phoenix Suns in July's NBA Finals. Today, Giannis Antetokounmpo and co toured the White House and met with President Joe Biden. This is the first time, first time a winning NBA team has visited the White House since 2016. Milwaukee's 21-22 campaign, though, is off to a rocky start. The four and six bucks play the league-leading Philadelphia 76ers tomorrow. The Merrill Transit System celebrated 100 years of motor buses this weekend. Folks stepped onto buses at the Historical Museum throughout the day for a nickel tour because that's how much a ride cost back in 1921. The tour went along the original trolley route, which dates actually back to 1890. If you want to learn more about this, just go to the Merrill Historical Museum. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins. Now, Jeff, what a gorgeous weekend we just had. Yeah, hey, Dan, happy Monday. Well, you and I are about to go through some things. Two cold fronts are on the way. One's coming through right now. The other arrives on Thursday, and that's going to really change our lives over the weekend. But for now, we hit 60 earlier, but not so much anymore. We're down to 54 in Rhinelander with colder air just off to our west. That is flooding in right now. The average high is 43. The average low is 26. The record low is zero, and the sun will set in about a half hour from now at 435. All right, so here we are. Off to the west of us. This is round one of the cooler air, not the cold air yet. The cooler air is to our west. A piece of this moving our way for tonight and tomorrow and also for Wednesday. And then it'll get a reinforcing shot of colder air getting in here later on Thursday. This is the one that'll likely bring us the coldest air of the season so far through next weekend into next week. We're talking about high temperatures in the low 30s with lows in the teens and 20s. That's coming our way for this weekend. We're definitely going to feel it much colder around here this weekend. So here on the graph form, it looks something like this. 51 tomorrow. 50 for Wednesday, 48 for Thursday, and whoop, right back down again. There's that reinforcing shot of cold air on Friday. And then there's the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, cloud cover, maybe a couple flurries around with temperatures holding in the low to mid 30s around here. Looking outside right now at Eagle River, the clouds are increasing because that front is in the area. And this looks on radar like we're in trouble, but we're not. Uh, this is all Virga precipitation in the cloud. The radar sees it, but it's falling through some very dry air here at the surface, meaning it's evaporating. So the radar is still seeing it, though. There could be a rogue sprinkle tonight, maybe a flurry. Otherwise, just mostly cloudy skies for several hours tonight. And then our attention goes over this way. Uh, that's our next system getting strength there. That's going to be in here on Thursday with rain showers on Veterans Day Thursday, changing over to a few snow showers on Friday. Our forecast then for tonight though is mostly cloudy skies, a sprinkle or flurry can't be ruled out with low temperatures down near 32. Your full forecast at 5 o'clock. Auto Gear has new Boss Plows in their warehouse now. No waiting, no ordering. Always on-site Boss Genuine Parts and Accessories. Auto Gear, where they sell, prep, and service plows in-house. Auto Gear, Rhinelander. 
I have worked at HuffCore for the last 36 years. HuffCore, closing the plant, moving production to Mexico. I gave my life and my body to that place. Ron Johnson pushed through a tax law that rewards outsourcing. Companies can bring profits back from Mexico tax-free. And worse, Ron Johnson profited personally from outsourcing. He has doubled his wealth since taking office. Tell Ron Johnson to stop putting his profits above our jobs. For Pete Kay, whose health benefits are, thankfully, way better than his outdoorsman skills, we've got you. For Jackie R., who's added umpteen flower pots, now that her allergy meds are covered, we've got you. For Charlie M., who's covered by a team of experts, so he can be first to the finish at his next race, we've got you. For everything that happens to happen, we've got you. Aspirus Health Plan. Need a lift? Furniture and Mattress USA and Lazy Boy Comfort Studio of Antigo has your chair. Shop over a dozen different styles, sizes, colors, and features. Quality lift chairs from Lazy Boy and others, all long-lasting, smooth, quiet operation with sizes for everyone and every room. If you like it, buy it and take it with you. It's yours. You can view all new styles on Facebook Marketplace posted weekly. Visit Furniture and Mattress USA and the Lazy Boy Comfort Studio, Highway 45 North in Antigo. Open seven days. Auto Gear is your boss dealer for plows and snow removal accessories, light and heavy duty truck, tractor, backhoe, loader, skid steer, UTV, and ATV. Auto Gear, where they sell, prep, and service plows in house. Auto Gear, Rhinelander. We're back on Up North at four, and you may notice my thin but present facial hair is growing, and mm. that's because we're doing a fundraiser right now for Nath Frederick Place, and we've welcomed to the show a person who's been through Nath Frederick Place, stayed there, worked there, mm -hmm. who's also works at WJFW right here, Jen Davis. Jen, how are you doing today? Doing great. Well, it's great to work with you every day, and I didn't even know your story until I worked with you for a couple months. So let's start with who is Jen? How did you even get to Rhinelander? Where are you from? Well, I was raised in Augusta, Georgia. Uh, my mother was in the Army, but she was from here. So due to health reasons, she moved back here in 2005 and I came up here with her. So how did you become homeless? Um, well, it was a series of decisions and some of them not so great. And I lost my home and um, I ended up being on the streets. And I didn't even know about Frederick Place until I couch surfed for a little while. and. Once I found out about them, I got in, and they helped me a lot. Yeah, and Jen, this is great. You're putting a face to homelessness, right? And I think in America, just like uh, mental illness, homelessness is looked at as kind of a, it's a problem over there. There's a bit of shame involved, right? Yes. And I'm sure you felt that shame you're saying at some point? Yes, I, I struggled with mental illness as well. Okay. And um, there's a lot of supports there at NATH. And it's totally different than what you think homelessness looks like. It's not the crazy person with a shopping cart, shopping cart although it can be, but um, a lot of times it's, it's just normal people. I was going to say, homelessness happens to good people who you say make some bad decisions. And we've all been in those shoes, right? right. Some decisions are worse than others. You ended up homeless, right? right? But there are a lot of good people like yourself who are trying to get themselves out of that situation. What did Nath do for you? They had so many supports, so many resources. The thing is, they don't do the work for you. They don't find you a place to live. They don't uh, get you funding or grants from new cap or housing mm -hmm. they show you what to do and they support you as you do it and that really creates a, a lot of pride for someone who is able to come out of homelessness and get a place and it's a it's a step by step process but that it they support you in so many ways um, so I, I had a domestic violence situation mm -hmm. that was part of why I became homeless. And if I'd have nightmares at night, they would stay up with me and talk to me until I could go back to sleep. And that, that was so important to me. It was, it was critical in me being able to 
uh, successfully get out on my own again. So you go from being scared and beaten down to having some pride and something to work towards. Right. All in the same environment with other people like yourself who are right. trying to get there too. Right. That had to be magical for you. It, it's almost, and, and the residents support each other too. It's almost like a temporary family that, and they boost you up and, and you can talk to the other residents because a lot of them know what you're going through. Um, it, it was such a wonderful experience for me. And about four or five months after I left there, I got the opportunity to work there. And so you really want to give back when, some, when you go through something like that. And um, I was so fortunate to work there. I loved working there. But then I got the opportunity to work here and I couldn't pass it up. Yeah, like, I, like you were saying, you're on the other side now. You're a key part of our team here at WJFW. We love working with you. Thank you. Maybe you're kind of removed from the homeless situation. Why do you think it's important for people at home to consider giving to homeless shelters, especially as temperatures get colder? A lot of people don't realize that homelessness can be someone who looks just like Jeff that lives in their car. You know, maybe some bad financial de decisions. You know, it doesn't have to be mental illness or drugs or uh, legal issues. Um, I thought that Nath was like a soup kitchen with cots and it's not, it's warm, it's inviting and it's, there's, there's love in there. And, um, People need that to get back on their feet. And especially when you're, when the cold months come, um, a lot of people are scared to go there. A lot of people um, don't know what it's like and don't really understand how it is to um, have resources put in your lap and you're able to go out there and find it. And the, and, contributing to that it can happen to anybody mm -hmm. and contributing to that with you can do it with time by vo volunteering your time to go there and help out you can volunteer with um, donating supplies that they need it just it doesn't have to be just money um, but they're they're very helpful in our community and they help anybody that comes there so I think that our community should help them well Thank you, Jen, for sharing the story. That was very vulnerable of you to do that. So I think that's just fantastic that you're with us. Thank you for letting me share it. We're going to be right back. Jen loves the games that we play on this show. She always watches it back in her office. So we're going to play a game with Jen right after the break. You don't want to miss this one. Welcome to today's Elite Money Minute with the Elite Advisor Team. Wow, it sure has been hot and dry the last few weeks. I'm not sure if all the trees and food plots I planted this spring are gonna make it. Hey Victor, do you have a rain gauge out at your land so you can see how much rain you're getting? You know, most plants and trees need one to two inches of rain a week to grow properly. You may need to supplement Mother Nature a little bit, Victor. This sounds a lot like income planning for retirement. First, you have to know how much money you need per month. Next, we calculate how much monthly income you have from sources like Social Security and pensions. That's right. The difference will be the amount that you need to draw from your retirement funds, just like the extra water you need for your food plots. To make sure your retirement doesn't dry up, call our office at 1-800-469-2040 or visit us on the web at retireidea.com. That's today's Elite Money Minute. For more information on this topic or other retirement ideas and information, visit our website at retireidea.com. If you're a contractor or do-it-yourselfer, make Argonne Lumber your first stop. High-quality materials, personalized service, expert staff, and delivery are just some of the things Argonne Lumber is known for. Stop in and smell the lumber at Argonne Lumber, two locations in Argonne and Rhinelander. Next Jeopardy will boldly go to the Star Trek film subtitled The Wrath of Him. Who is Khan? I was hoping you'd do the yell. Khan! <laughs> Next Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Weekdays at 4.30 on NBC 12. 
add style to your bathroom with help from Menards. Choose from our huge selection of Tarquette waterproof vinyl blank, easy to install sheet vinyl, and durable laminate flooring that stand up to everyday life. Finish your update with Magic Woods Vanities. Our great selection of Magic Woods Vanities offer a combination of quality construction and styles to match your lifestyle. All Tarquette flooring and Magic Woods Vanities are 11% off right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. You shall pass, and neither shall the viewers of Up North at Ford. Here's the name of the game. You gotta rhyme the name with the object, the thing. You'll understand, okay? Here's the first image. Here we go, Jen. Image. We got, it looks like. Dan in a can? Dan on a can, ding, okay. ding, 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 ding. Okay, number two, there's four of these folks. And, oh, <laughs> Jeff as a ref. Jeff as a ref. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Okay, two for two. Let's see if we can get the other two here. <laughs> Betty and spaghetti. Betty, Betty and spaghetti. And spaghetti. <laughs> you guys are too good at this. All right, number four. Huh. <laughs> Jen on a hen. Jen on a hen as a hen. You guys are too smart. Oh, we just rolled through those. <laughs> hey, and fixing the hair quickly. Thank you so much, Jen, for joining us again. We got to take a quick break. We'll be right back after the break. We're going to learn about winter driving and some other things about a driving school in Phillips, Wisconsin. One of our biggest sales of the year, the Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. Get huge savings on already low prices, up to 50% off. Plus, see what's new, what's in stock, and save 25% on our great accessories. Do you love to sew, quilt, or embroider? Get the brother machine of your dreams. Tomahawk Sewing Back Summer Sizzler Sale. The biggest sale of the year is going on now. Heavy-duty denim machines starting at $199, regularly $399. Combination sewing and embroidery machines on sale for only $599, regularly $999. Plus, get other great discounts on many popular brother models and free instructional classes on all sewing and quilting machines. Tomahawk Sewing Back in downtown Tomahawk. Did you know that working with a professional realtor yields a 10% higher sales price than selling on your own? It can often be even higher. Professional realtors have vast resources to market your home, guaranteeing reach to the maximum number of potential buyers. Ready to sell? Visit upnorthmls.com to find a Northwoods realtor ready to serve you. One of our biggest sales of the year, the Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. Get huge savings on already low prices, up to 50% off. Plus, see what's new, what's in stock, and save 25% on our great accessories. We're back on Up North at 4. It's an unseasonably warm day here in November. <laughs> I'm with Jody Podmalik. She runs North Country Driving School in Phillips, Wisconsin. Jody, how are you doing? Uh, great today. Thank you for having me. So it is nice out, but it's not going to stay like this forever. What are some tips, some winter driving tips for people as the roads get ice here? Okay, so as we begin our winter driving, um, we need to prepare prepare our car before we even start, um, putting good tires on the car, having a kit ready for it. When we get into driving, remember you got to slow down um, sooner, give yourself more space, and give yourself more time to get to and from places. But I don't want to buy tires. That's too expensive. I can get by without them, right? Um, my guess is yes, but you have bigger chances of being in the ditch. Um, being in more accidents and just not having control of your vehicle like you should. And that cost could add up. That cost like could be that. very expensive. Yeah, that's a good point. You've convinced me. <laughs> well, let's talk about something that's kind of really interesting in driving schools across the state of Wisconsin. A law 
has recently been passed that's affected you guys. Tell me about that. Yeah, so they passed a law in um, July, which makes it available for 15-year-old kids to start driving. What that does is allows them to have their license for um, up to a full year. So they actually get, the reason I do like it, they actually get a full year of driving time in. So they hit every season of driving, so they will get winter. I have a bunch of kids right now, um, started in April, and now they're done driving. They haven't had any driving in the winter time. So I do think that's a big benefit for kids turning 15 that they're able to drive. Okay, so these 15-year-olds, they're going to have attempts for a year, which guarantees them winter driving instruction with you or Yep, if instructor. they choose to get them, they can still get them at 15 and a half, but yes. And that has affected you. I've talked to some other driving instructors as well, and you guys are busy right now. Yeah. Is that why you're busy? Um, it's probably doubled in size. I do offer an online course, and I do have classrooms in Phillips and Prentice. Um, but right now, we're, all the 15-year-olds who are learning about the rule are jumping into class. So, yeah, we're pretty busy driving steadily and um, preparing the kids to drive on the road on their own. So another recent law, which you teach at North Country Driving, is this move-over law. Maybe some people don't know much about it. Can you explain it to us? Yeah, so what the move-over law is, if you see a vehicle on the side of the road, a cop, a, you know, ambulance, anything, a utility truck, tow truck, you're going to... Uh, take a look in your mirrors. If it's clear to get over to the left side, you're going to go to the left and get over and then come back. If it's not clear, you're going to slow down, um, drive by 25 miles or slower, depending on the situation, and then just stay to the center of the lane for them. So you're giving them more space so they're safer. Okay, Jody, any trends you're seeing in driving, new drivers, anything like that? Um, trends in general, I've noticed um, as I'm driving with the students, there's a lot of people on their cell phones as they're driving along. Wait, when you're in the car with them, they're on their cell no, phones? No, when, when we're meeting somebody, the I cars see. are coming at us with their, they're on their cell phones. So um, it is a law not to be on your cell phone, um, especially when they're in the, the kids have their temps. It is no phones at all. So they can get high uh, tickets and stuff on that if they're using them and that can suspend their license and extend their temps longer as well not to mention that it is really unsafe as it well. is very unsafe yes all right i have kind of a personal curiosity here that i'm going to just kind of scratch that itch so i feel like drivers are confused in this circumstance where you're at a four-way intersection you have a right turn lane with a yield sign in that intersection and you have a person turning left trying to get into the same lane as the right turner. So who has to yield in that situation? So in that situation, you're saying um, a person is turning left and then in the opposite lane, a person is turning right. Um, depending on the road, sometimes there's two lanes so they can both turn at the same time. If not, if it's a solid green light, um, the person taking the right would go first and then the left would go. If it's a left arrow, then the left would go and then the right would yield to that. And then you, if you have that right turn lane, right, with a yield sign, that would be different, right? Right. So you would pull up if there's a car coming, you would stop and wait for them. If it's clear, then you would go ahead and yield and then go forward. Okay, Jody, thank you so much for You're clearing welcome. some things up and kind of interesting changing times with this yes, year, with it this is. new law. <laughs> so that's interesting. Jody, thanks so much for joining us on Up North at 4. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back on the show. A nursing home promises to care for our parents as cherished loved ones. But if your parents have been injured in a nursing home, we can help. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. Welcome to Patchouli Garden in Park Falls. We love authentic Indonesian patchouli and we specialize in our original custom blends. Everything with the Patchouli Garden name on it, we make right here in our store. Visit Patchouli Garden in the store or online. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. When searching for your next truck, you want your truck to last. Get the job done right with a Lens truck. We have them all. 
half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs, over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck, Lens Truck, we got the trucks at Lens Truck. We got the trucks. Everybody loves popcorn and puffs, so Newswatch 12 and Minocqua Popcorn and Puffs want to help you celebrate by sending tasty birthday treats. If you want your chance to win a gourmet bucket of popcorn for your loved one, make sure you submit your entry for our birthday club at WJFW.com. One lucky viewer will win a free half-gallon bucket of Minocqua Popcorn. Menards is your bathroom and plumbing headquarters. Complete your bathroom and kitchen update with over 2,000 Moen products at Menards. From faucets and shower heads to accessory sinks and more, Moen has an array of traditional, transitional, and contemporary styles in a variety of finishes, including Mediterranean bronze, matte black, spot resist stainless steel, and more. Build your dream bathroom and kitchen today with 11% off all Moen products right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. All right, we're back. So people who are 15 years old, they can get their temps now and drive. What do yeah. you think about that? I think there are lots of responsible 15-year-olds. Uh, thinking back, that wasn't me at that point, <laughs> but there are lots of 15-year-olds out there. So do you think 15-year-old Jeff should have been on the road like that? Uh, with a parent. That, that's true, yes. with a parent. With a parent, yes. How did you do in your driving desk? I passed it. I was okay. good. Yeah, first time. Really? Okay. I was really close. I went through one of those like four-way intersections that have no markings mm. on them. And I like went halfway through to like. Did they have roundabouts the back then? I think <laughs> I lived in a pre-roundabout. I got scared about the parallel parking. Parallel parking that, was still on the thing right. back then, and it's uh, it, I nailed it, but I was nervous about it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I really don't use that much either, the parallel parking yeah, nowadays. Not much. Yeah. Well, My uh, car does it by itself. I push a button. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is uh, that kind of scares me a, a little, little bit. bit. Do you think you'll be scared with like the autonomous driving, the robot driving? No. We'll get there someday. Yes, Jetsons, here we come. You're, you're ready for that? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's talk about our weekend a little bit. Okay. I showed a before and after picture of my bathroom last Monday. Yes. That was a mistake. And you scared a lot I of people. I got some blowback. You, I just want uh, people to know I very like you... hard water at my apartment, so <laughs> that's why it was stained. But let's take a look at my kitchen. I cleaned oh, my geez. kitchen. I just, I'm going to do one like cleaning thing per weekend. All right, this weekend. is better so than your bathroom. This is good, right? Isn't that great? This is better so than I had your to kind of save face from the bathtub situation. Because the bathtub was, um, yeah, I, I, it's all I've heard for two weeks now is like Dan's bathtub is disgusting. Yeah, I, I regret that one. Uh, this week for me, though, guess what started yesterday? Uh, what was that? My favorite TV show. Okay. Yellowstone. Yellowstone. It's back. Are you guys watching this? It's fantastic. Two hour premiere yesterday. Uh, I was I watched it twice. So it was what so is good. the deal with it's what is this is about? A, it's a drama series based in Yellowstone over land and all these crazy characters and it just when you watch one, it's in this is year four. It okay. just sucks you in, or season four. So uh, I would encourage you to binge watch it, and then this last episode was fantastic okay. yesterday. It's so good. It's okay. so good. Uh, we'll talk. I don't watch much TV because I'm on TV a lot, but it, this is a really good show. <laughs> we'll have more from Jeff at five and six. We'll see you then for that. <laughs> you it's tell good. Me.